yo what up all right um so um we got another educational video from the real life lore hmm okay okay are y'all ready to have your minds blown yeah yeah okay uh, yeah. what we got um this is five impossible things that can happen on other planets Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, now, I mean, didn't we watch a video on all the other planets in our universe, like size comparisons? And oh yeah. Names? Yeah. 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 That was interesting. Yeah. It really was. Yeah. So, so, so these are impossible things that we could do on other planets. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And I'd, I'd imagine like, you know. So impossible on our planet, possible on those planets. Impossible here, possible there. Yeah. That we can do as humans, I'm guessing. Well, how would they know? Well, I mean, they're probably like, you know, it's all, you know, it's all math. But I'm, they're probably like measuring the gravity and stuff on different planets. Okay. Might be able to jump higher or. Well, I can understand that. It's less you know gravity, saying? like on the moon. You might be able to walk on, on water. Mars. You might be able to walk on water on it. There's some Asian people <laughs> that can walk on water here. Or fly, huh? No, I'm just playing. That was a joke. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> You ever seen the video where the dude ran across the water on those little boards? And he was, he was like an Asian monk? No. That's interesting, yeah. But but definitely. So, so what we got, man? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. This is the real life lore. Five impossible things that can happen on other planets. Let's go. There are some things that are just not possible on our planet. It Pigs would certainly fly. be understandable that you would think that if it's impossible here on Earth, then it would be impossible everywhere else in the universe. But that's simply not the case, not and the universe is far not. stranger than any of us <laughs> can actually believe. Let's begin with shadows. Your shadow on Earth is always alone, and you're always used to seeing it this way as it follows you around during the day. You're also used to seeing everybody else with just one shadow, but this isn't a universal thing that would be experienced elsewhere. Really? You have one shadow because our primary light source on Earth is our sun, but one what would sun. happen if there were two exactly. suns? Okay. That orbits two stars. Double shadow. Tatooine from Star Wars. Ooh, okay. Each day and two shadows instead of one for each person. Then that's how it used to look. only be science fiction. That'd be kind of dope. Kepler 16b yeah. was discovered. The planet be a lot hotter. Orbits two you know different I mean? stars. And two suns. If you were suddenly teleported to the surface of the planet, you would likely die from the extreme temperatures and lack of air to breathe. <laughs> but as soon as you were teleported okay. in a suit that could help you survive, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to do that just to have two shadows. Shadows, a friend for your always lonely shadow that you experience on I'm good on the double shadow. Our next extremely bizarre place is a planet that is likely completely covered in water, an ocean planet named GJ1214b. The planet cool. is several times larger than the Earth, which makes the Damn. Pacific Ocean on our planet Damn. seem like a puddle in comparison. Damn. Even though water covers GG over 70% of the Earth's B. surface, water only accounts for 0.05% of the Earth's total wow. mass. That's on GJ1214b, however, water may account for up to 10% of the planet's total Close mass, it which means that Watering the entire clouds. planet Sorry. would be covered in an ocean hundreds of hmm. kilometers deep. Damn! Our own ocean goes okay. down only a mere 11 kilometers, Ooh. and we already have terrifying okay. monsters We ain't like even been this. to the box. And this, the, oh, the huge damn. whales like this. So, <laughs> one's imagination can run absolutely wild with what fans <laughs> call the monsters. A planet that's monsters. all water, that's over all water. It's gotta be a couple megadons. Those things. Who knows what could be lurking Moby there Dicks. if you crash landed your ship Giant on the surface. Squids. But what is known is that at the very bottom of this massive ocean, hundreds of kilometers beneath the surface, the pressure would be so intense that the water at the bottom would be transformed into an exotic form of ice known as Ice 7. This ice wouldn't Damn. be like ice that you know on Earth. It wouldn't be cold at all, but would remain in a solid form. Wow, this doesn't what? happen naturally on Earth, but neither does our next bizarre example. Solid Weather water? on Earth is often violent and unpredictable, but it's extremely tame compared to other places in the universe. Whatever, Take the planet okay. COROT7B, for Corrupt. example, where instead of raining water, it rains down rocks. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Damn. Half of the Hell no. at 2,600 Damn. degrees Celsius, while the other half is Hot far edge, cooler at 177 Damn. degrees Damn. Celsius. Okay. The temperature on the hot side is enough to vaporize rocks, and just like how water will evaporate Damn. and condense into clouds on Earth, so too will rocks condense into rock clouds. Wow, what the, the hell? Planet. 
These strange rock clouds will then rain liquid rock or magma back onto the surface. But since the atmosphere is cooler the further up it goes, and the temperature on the cooler... It's like hell! I mean, it makes sense that the clouds the are rain completely will often of, harden you know, into dusted. rocks before okay. striking the Properties ground. And, yeah. This planet seems like the closest it's place to hell that a place... Yeah! Could get, but another planet <laughs> is perhaps even to more hit. bizarre weather. This planet, known as HD 189773b, is located 63 light years away from us, is a little larger than Jupiter, and looks stunningly beautiful from space. But that beauty is hiding a terrifying secret. Oh, yeah. It looks this way because the planet's atmosphere is made up primarily of silicate particles. Winds on the planet can scream at 5,400 miles per hour, the hell? kilometers every second, or seven that times the speed of sound. Damn. Temperatures can soar up to 930 degrees Celsius, but Damn. most terrifying of all is that the planet rains glass sideways, and it's oh hell no! <laughs> This what the so hell? Fast That's and bananas. scary that if a storm that like that happened bananas. to appear on Earth, it would travel across the entire planet at the equator in just five hours and thirty-three minutes, <laughs> and leave behind a shredded trail of glass. But even this storm pales in comparison to the mightiest wind so far known in our entire universe, the wind on the planet HD 189733b. <sighs> this is a gas planet with one side always facing its star, where temperatures can reach a scorching 966 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> but the temperature on the dark side is still very hot at 688 degrees Celsius. So, how does the dark side remain so hot still? The answer is extremely, wickedly fast wind, possibly Damn. up to 22,000 miles per hour, meters per second, or nearly 29 times the speed of sound. For reference, the fastest ever recorded wind on the Earth happened during a tornado in Oklahoma back in 1999, that. and that was only 301 miles per hour. Damn, that's or crazy. 73 wow. times less than Very the nightmare storm on this close. giant that's raging Very. right now as you are watching this video. <laughs> if you made yourself a kite and flew through the wind, then you could zip around the entire Earth in a mere one hour and eight minutes. <laughs> Damn! But perhaps the most interesting place is somewhere that's much closer to home, specifically this place. Uh, it's called Titan, which is a moon of Saturn. It has okay. such a thick atmosphere that we didn't even know what its surface looked like until 2005, which if you're curious, it looks like this. But Titan is a very bizarre place. It has an atmosphere, rivers, and lakes, and it even rains like on Earth. But the temperature is wow. a bone-shattering negative 179 degrees Damn. Celsius, which is so cold that water is as hard as rocks, and the Damn. chemical <laughs> methane exists in a liquid state. The clouds, rivers, and lakes on the moon are made of methane, which is the primary component of natural gas. Only 20% of Titan's surface has ever been mapped, but it is estimated that in that region alone, there is hundreds of times more natural gas and oil than is located on all of Earth. There is Damn. so much I'm gas on Titan that it For literally real. rains it. it. It's an oil tycoon's dream. <laughs> the best way yeah, to yeah. encourage <laughs> space travel is to let a few countries know about Titan. But Makes even sense. more strange, you could Makes actually sense. theoretically fly on Titan. I don't know how true that the is. The atmosphere is thick That'll enough. That'll bring gas down like 25 cents a gallon. That it you know what I'm saying? <laughs> your we know that there's oil on that planet. You could actually flap around the moon like Magical a bird, taking tongues. in all the alien sights of rivers and lakes. Of course, you would need a suit to protect yourself, but still, you could fly just like in your dreams and achieve something that's impossible here on Earth. There are over 1,000 confirmed planets that have been discovered outside of our solar system so far, and you can yeah. learn about the most recent ones discovered by checking out this video from Second Thought Next, where he explains the possibility wow. of life outside our solar system. Hmm. Other than that, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking here, visit my Patreon by clicking here, and if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a <gasps> like and stick around for another new video next think, Friday. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I think the most scariest video, or the most scariest, um, planet was the hell planet ah uh, yes yes where it's uh like 970 degrees on one side and 699 on the other side range rocks yeah <laughs> <laughs> shit range rocks like now the sideways glass is also kind of freaky like yeah. i don't know what the hell it's just glass like glass, glass like what the hell forms glass and rains it and then the wind blows it throughout the that's it's crazy it's like a nightmare. Yeah. Whew, you, that's worse than a nightmare. Like you wouldn't even get a chance to have a nightmare. That's too quick. You die yeah. like as soon as you landed on that planet. And how do they know they got a whole bunch of oil on Titan? Man. Hmm. 
You know right. what I mean? Now, like I said, that probably take gas down to like 25, <laughs> 20 cent a gallon. <laughs> or gas might be free from now on. That'd be dope. Man. It's a lot of things they ain't telling us. They know, they know yeah. this oil. They know where the oil at. Hmm. It's a lot of things they ain't telling us. Hmm. Getting oil from other planets. I mean, I just heard, like, it's like a, something like they, uh, NASA or like the CIA or somebody released it like a couple days ago that some like classified, something classified about like there's been civil civilizations, proof of civilizations on Mars. Oh, well, that would be exciting. Like I need to look that up. or something. I, I need to look that up because, you know, they, they definitely have always thought there have been civilizations on Mars. And, and and they say that Mars is the most similar planet, I believe, to the to the Earth. Earth. Yeah. Well, yeah, they so say it's like they it found water on Mars. I think it's like frozen water, I think. It's okay. like under... Now, know, did they find any statues or anything like that? If they did, they wouldn't tell us. Okay. No so, I mean, you know, it's... <laughs> like, you know, they, they, that would crush... All you know that that would just demolish everybody's beliefs yeah. and put everybody in a frame. Now, have you seen those conspiracy videos where they actually show the images on Mars and stuff like that? Of like, do you think that's fake? I, I mean, honestly, um, like the face on. What they'll or? do is they'll they'll find they'll they'll probably they'll, those are probably like real pictures, but they'll find like something that looks like. That's kind of like a uh, like a Cheeto that looks like Jesus or something. When people find a Cheeto yeah. that looks like Jesus. Yeah. Or a coffee yeah, stain. I think I saw a picture of one looked like a rat, like there was a rat or like some type of lobster or something like that. On, on Mars. Mars? Yeah. Yeah. And they said like this is a lobster. Yeah, but I mean but it's, it's like Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Just like we just like when we stated earlier, like if you go to Google and you try to Google a picture of the earth from outer space, you will not be able to find one. All you will find is illustrations. Well yeah, they're all composites. They're all yeah. like they're all composites. What they say is, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's like information and the computer creates the picture that the information gives them. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But then somebody like a flat earther will be like, why don't you just put a camera out there and take a picture of the whole earth? <laughs> why can't you do that? Why can't you just take a picture of the whole earth? That's how a flat earther sounds? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. 